Machine learning system design is an in-demand skill and it's asked about during job interviews. That's why I decided to go through the Machine Learning System Design book by Alex Zhu. And now that I've finished it, I'm going to share with you an overview of the book, the content and structure, how long it took me, what I think are the prerequisites, and finally, whether or not I think it's worth it. Let's go. Like the title clearly says, this book teaches machine learning system design for interviews. And it's one of the only professionally done resources I've found on this subject. By professionally done, I mean that it's not just a collection of blog posts or a GitHub repo. The book was written by Alex Zhu, who is also the author of another popular resource for studying regular system design interviews. Currently, I had to buy a physical copy of the book, but hopefully they'll come out with a digital one in the near future. Now let's talk about the content and structure. So the first chapter of the book is an introductory one where they teach you a lot of the concepts and all the remaining chapters are examples of different machine learning systems. I really liked that they taught a lot of the concepts in the introductory chapter so that you have a good foundation of knowledge to build upon as you see more of the examples. Interestingly, a lot of the examples were for recommendation systems and ranking systems. I'm not sure why they didn't show other systems like computer vision or natural language processing. I know that the author of the book has worked in a lot of big tech companies where they do a lot of recommending and ranking, so that could be why. Or maybe those are really the types of questions that are most commonly asked during interviews. The book provides a rough framework for how to go about answering machine learning system design interview questions. And in each of the chapters, they follow those steps. And the steps are clarify the requirements, frame the business problem as an ML problem, prepare the data, select and develop the ML model, evaluate the performance, deploy the model, and monitor the deployment. I thought that the chapters had a lot of good information in them, and they also provide links to resources where you can learn more. There were actually quite a few places where they said that the concept is beyond the scope of the book, which makes sense because there is a lot of ML theory. However, in some places, they said that the concept was something that you really should know for interviews. I'm not sure how they decided which concepts to explain and which concepts to link to external resources. The chapters also included a lot of really useful diagrams for understanding the complex concepts that they were explaining. Okay, so how long did it take? Every day I sat down and used an app on my phone to track how long I was spending studying. And in total, it came out to about 15 hours. And now let's talk about what the prerequisites are. I think that you should have a base understanding of ML theory before taking this course. In my opinion, you should be good to go after one introductory course. For example, you need to know high level concepts like what a neural network is, the training set versus the test set, cost function and loss function, and other really common machine learning concepts like those. And finally, let's talk about, is it worth it? But first, I wanna quickly invite you to join my monthly models newsletter. It's free to sign up and the emails include updates about what I'm up to, so you'll never miss anything. I hope you'll join me in this growing community. Now back to the content. The answer is yes, I think that it is worth it. This is one of the only professional resources that I've found that covers machine learning system design specifically for interviews. The book costs about $40 on Amazon, which is a lot cheaper than some of the other resources I've seen, which require you to sign up for subscriptions. Not only do I think it prepared me for machine learning interviews, but it helped me understand the concepts better because it showed how they were used in entire machine learning systems so it really locked into place about how the different concepts are useful if you've just finished an introductory course i would consider reading this book even if you're not preparing specifically for interviews overall i thought the book did a great job of explaining all the concepts and the only downside is what i kind of mentioned earlier where sometimes they would link to external documents even though they said the concept is really important for you to know okay at this point, you may be wondering what other machine learning system design interview resources are out there. Click the video on the screen to see my review of Grokking the Machine Learning Interview by Educative. I'll see you in the next video.